it's Carol from readinggroupguys.com and I'm here to share what you're going to see on the site this month. First of all, you have until July 10th to enter to win copies of The Great Believer by Rebecca Mackay for your book group. This is a absolutely devastating and beautifully written book that won a number of prizes last year. And to enter to win, all you have to do is tell us what your book group is reading right now in our What's Your Book Group Reading This Month contest. Where you can enter is in our notes below. Three groups of 12 will be winning copies, and we love to see what groups are reading all the time, so make sure you reach out and tell us. Next, we're going to have comments from another contest that we ran a couple of months ago. We had 10 groups listen to The Moment of Lift by Melinda Gates, and they're going to be sharing what they all thought about the narration of the book and also the story themselves. And I've taken a peek at these. They absolutely loved it, and I think you're going to find what they say very, very interesting. If you haven't thought about listening with your group, or if none of the members of your group are listening, it's something you may want to do. It's a way that I way, way, way increase the amount that I've been able to read. Next, we've got This Is Everything by Jennifer Weiner. This book takes place over seven decades. It was one of my bets on selections, and it's a New York Times bestseller. What she does is she looks at two sisters as they start their lives together in the 50s as teens and move right up to present day. And what it looks at is what is happening with women through those decades as well. What I really loved is there's social commentary in here, as well as looking at the relationships between the two sisters. And the way they start out in this book are not the way they end up in the end. Highly recommend this. Another recent Vets on selection is The Stationery Shop by Marjan Kamali. Absolutely love this book. First of all, it's got a stunningly gorgeous cover. And it, it, that is equated by the beautiful writing that's inside as well. Marjan opens this book in the 50s in Iran at the height of the political conflict there. And she walks you through that history that many of us are not completely aware of. We know what happened with Iran in the 70s, but not what really began back in the 50s. And she looks at that through the eyes of these two teenagers that fall in love at a stationery shop. And they are exchanging books, and the proprietary is encouraging the relationship. Their families aren't that excited about it, but they're going to run away to get married. And in fact, the girl is waiting in the square, and the boy never shows up. All those years, she wonders what really happened. And flash forward to 2013, where she actually gets to find out why he was not at the square that day. The writing and the way this plot unfolds is you're just going to be completely blown away by it. And we also have a guide for it, Jane Green's The Friends We Keep. This book takes place over two different time periods. It's back when the group of kids are in college, and then later when they reunite about 30 years later. What you've got is a bunch of secrets that are really kind of unraveling the relationship later on and are haunting them. Once again, a great book for discussion. Also, when Jane was presenting this book, she told a very funny story about how her children are leaving the house and she's becoming an empty nester. And she was thinking that she should get together with some of her friends from college who are also empty nesters and form a kind of commune living to get themselves through so that someone's doing the cooking, someone's doing the laundry, and you have company at the table at night. Very, very funny from her. So looking forward to seeing you stopping by the site. We've got over 4,400 guides on the site as well for you to take a look at and lots of tips about what you want to be doing with your book group. And remember, we always love hearing from you. Thanks so much.